though. Just inflatables, the materiality of it started intriguing me. There was something very obviously childish and playful and innocent to it, but there's this, all these kind of latex fetish, sexual undertones. Anna approached me actually a few months ago asking if I wanted to be involved in the show because she's seen some of the work I've been doing. I immediately said yes because she, she basically said she wanted to create a show where we had a massive space just full of air. And I thought that was really interesting. The warehouse we're in today is amazing. There's moss growing on the walls and plants coming out of the sides of it. And there's very sweet architectural features, which are a very cute thing. It's kind of like a real dusty brick heavy uh, warehouse that we fill with soft things. And that in a way is a real challenge. I think there's something really interesting about a post-industrial space with materials that at some point in the past were just mainly kind of uh, factory orientated. You can see a sort of reuse of different types of materials like PVC and plastics into art is kind of really interesting in a space that would have been probably for manufacturing. Bad art started as kind of a protest of like the white wall gallery space in such a direct conflict with how I experience art and how I think art should be experienced as something a bit more like wild and unpredictable and emotional and weird. I just think it's just such a fun space. So exciting, especially like in the middle of London to have access to this like phenomenal warehouse. <laughs> artists from Germany, from Russia, from the UK, China, Philippines, all over the place. I started doing inflatables uh, about two years ago. In this case, for this exhibition, I, I did a um, Machiavellic flower, if you want to call it like that. It's a flower, it uh, represents a uh, poison, something uh, that doesn't go well in your body, but it's still something that perhaps you want to experiment for some reason that we might not understand, kind of what humans act upon. So my outfit today is the leftovers of my artwork, which was um, a big fork of, full of spaghetti and meatballs. It's called um, I love you with all of my heart. If I don't see you again soon, I'm gonna die. I'm actually not an inflatable artist, so it was always a bit difficult trying to figure out what I was gonna make, but it is a reflection on kind of the last 18 months, particularly uh, the Black Lives Matter movement and the protests that we had uh, this time last year, and so it's kind of an ode to that kind of moment in time. I had this kind of idea that I wanted to build something both small, but also try and kind of rekindle the playfulness of a child from the perspective of kind of like a logical adult. Then I applied for a world record with it to create the world's smallest hand-stitched bounce castle. But it, for, for now, it's pending. It's just so delicious to realise this show after two years of it not happening. And Bad Art is fantastic. And I love the trashy DIY aesthetic and the kind of fuck you attitude.